In this video, we're going to go over the influence of groups, focusing on the different types of groups you need to know for leg sync. So to start, we can talk about social groups. A social group is two or more individuals that interact with each other, share similar characteristics, and have a sense of unity. Social groups can have different numbers of members. You can have a couple, which only has two individuals in that group. You can also have a family where this is more variable. You can have small families with a few members or large families with many members. You can also have groups that don't have as personal of relationships as couples or families. So clubs, peer groups, gangs, and teams, they also count as social groups because they share these same properties. So for instance, we can consider a chess club. The members in a chess club certainly interact with each other from playing chess together. They share similar characteristics. They all enjoy the game of chess and they have a sense of unity as being members of a chess club. Similarly, you can think about a sports team. They likely interact with each other through sports. They share similar characteristics like enjoying physical activity and exercise. And again, they probably feel a connection with each other, part of the camaraderie of being part of a sports team. So that's social groups. Next, we can talk about reference groups. Reference groups are exactly what they sound like. They are used for comparison. So a reference group is a group that an individual or other group is compared to. So the reference group provides the benchmarks for making comparisons and contrasts. And importantly, reference groups are important for determining an individual's self-identity, attitudes, or social ties. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that a reference group is not necessarily going to be a group that an individual is going to be part of. So for example, we can look at a college graduate. A college graduate may compare themselves to those with a high school diploma. In that case, the college graduate may feel that they are well-educated compared to those with only a high school diploma. However, the college graduate could also compare themselves with those with advanced degrees. And with those with advanced degrees as the reference group, the college graduate probably isn't feeling very educated anymore. Okay, so next, let's talk about primary groups as well as secondary groups. Primary groups are small social groups whose members share close, personal, and long-lasting relationships. If you think about the individuals with whom you share these features of close, personal, and long-lasting relationships, you'll probably identify real quick that would be your family members as well as your childhood friends. These are the two standard examples for primary groups. We can now compare with secondary groups. So secondary groups for the most part is just more distant than primary groups. So you can consider this as a group whose members interact on a less personal level than primary groups. So in this case, the members in a secondary group, their relationships are typically impersonal, goal-oriented, and often temporary. So you can see here some examples include coworkers, classmates, your doctor, your accountant. So we can consider, for instance, classmates. The reason why you're interacting with your classmates is because you all elected to take the same class. And during that class, you are interacting with each other, but the purpose of the interactions was really goal-oriented. Again, because you all signed up for that same class. And it's likely going to be temporary as well because after the course, unless there's some other means or purpose for interacting between each other, you likely won't interact with each other anymore. And similarly, you have a doctor. A doctor you can certainly have good relationships with, but it's often more of a professional relationship as opposed to a personal relationship. You have goals and purposes for seeing your doctor. You either want to check up or you're not feeling well. And after you meet with your doctor, after you're feeling well, you're probably not going to see your doctor again for quite some time. So these relationships can certainly be temporary. Okay, so finally, let's talk about in-groups and out-groups. The best way to think about in-groups and out-groups is using the phrase us versus them. So the in-group is the us and the out-group is them. So we can define an in-group as a social group that an individual 
psychologically identifies as being a member and toward which an individual feels respect and loyalty. So essentially, you are a part of the in-group and you respond favorably to other members in that same in-group. So this favoritism is what is often called in-group favoritism. The out-group is a social group that an individual does not feel is they are a part of. So they do not psychologically identify as being a member. And usually they're going to feel a sense of competition or opposition to this group. And here we have several examples. A common one is gender, male versus female. When you look at most kids and the friends that they form when they're young, it's usually members of the same sex. So boys making friends with other boys and girls making friends with other girls. And usually the boys don't like the girls and vice versa. So there is this sort of opposition between the two genders. You can have the same thing with religion. Catholics will respond well to other Catholics, but may not like Protestants as much. Or you can also look at social class, middle class versus working class. The middle class may sort of look down on the working class because they're doing manual labor, whereas the working class may not like the middle class because they feel like they're not doing actual work. So again, this sort of difference between the in-group that you are a part of versus the out-group that you are not a part of. Us versus them. Okay, so those are the different types of groups you want to know for the MCAT.